Hey everybody, and today we'll be learning how to make a synth basically with your mouse. So, what I did here is I recorded a bunch of random sounds with my uh, voice, and uh, I just chose the best ones. So, here are what I have. So, let's just oh, oops, <laughs> let's just go through these uh, real quick. What am I doing right now? Okay, uh, edit. And this is the recording that I made. So this is where I tried to replicate the little noise sound. And this is the little percussion here. And uh, this is the bass thing. Okay, so how do you get started? Just record your sounds uh, that you want and uh, select them like so and just drag them into your step sequencer once you are in your step sequencer you have the sound here without like all of the other ones okay so what i did here is i went to the instrument settings and i just did the attack right there so the sound i was playing when i hit the key so if it would be here, it would kind of, see, kind of delay. So that's what I did. I put it like that. Also, you can adjust all sorts of things. You can adjust the sustain, the release is my favorite one here. You can make it long, you can make it short. So in this example, what I did here, with the noise sweeps, I did everything the same what I showed you right now. Only I added this little. Uh, slide uh, note here. So what I had was was this. Oops, I'm just turning off the core speed over here, like that, and I just added the slide. Same thing, slide up, and over here I just gave you a couple of example examples that you can uh, use the noise. With the, oops, with the side chain, and just as you know, noise to fill up the gaps in the song. So right here, we have the percussion. Same thing. I cut out the parts what I wanted. As you can see, I have a couple of examples here. I, I think I chose this one, and. Uh, Again, on here, and I just did the attack right there, and yeah, that's about it. So, and you know, just random notes, and in the mixer, we have a couple of effects here. We have reverb, we have a paramedic EQ, a little flangus. Some distortion to make it louder and more big and delay to add that atmosphere. So uh, that's how I made that sound. And let's go to the bass. Again, the same tactic is used in every single example here. Just cut out just put the out the attack to zero right there. And just put some notes. And I think I even adjusted the yeah, the out is to the max, to the maximum, like that. I had an EQ and a distortion because it was too uh, quiet and uh, kind of, you know, like a, it wasn't really powerful for me. So, in conclusion, I'm gonna say it is really easy to make original sounds. Just put your mind to it, record different types of things, and uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. So, hope you enjoyed. And see you in the next one.